Hello everyone, and welcome to a new series, Muscle Gerbil Plays, Return of the Obra Dinn. If you've been following the channel, a lot of the games I've been playing have a, you know, an action tilt to them. So I thought we'd slow it down a little bit with a good old-fashioned mystery. Return of the Obra Dinn, created by Lucas Pope. He's best known for his game, Papers, Please. Fantastic little game. Uh, I say little because I think he was the only one that worked on it. Him and uh, a composer. And that game was a, you know, a checkpoint simulator. You were checking people's, you know, identification and all their documents. And it got real intense near the end. Loved that game. That may make an appearance on the channel in the future. This is the follow-up. Return of the Obra Dinn. Let's begin. Lost at Sea, 1803, the good ship Oberdin. Built in 1796 in London, 800 tons, 18 foot draft. Captain R. Witterell, crew of 51 men. Last voyage was to the Orient, Cape Rendezvous unmet. Contact the East India Company London office for inquiries or testimony. So the ship was lost at sea on a voyage to the Orient, which of course we now call Asia. And they did not make their rendezvous point. Letter from the Honorable East India Company. Attention, Chief Inspector, Insurance and Claims, London office. The Obra Din has returned. Dispatch to Falmouth immediately and prepare a full assessment. All right, so we are an insurance inspector for the East India Company. Of course, the East India Company, back in the early 19th century, huge corporation that sent ships everywhere to, you know, gather materials from Asia and bring them back to England. Said you'd need ferry to the Obred Inn. Not many eager for that job. Well, I'm not really. A bit late, if you ask. I'm, <laughs> I'm not really that What's eager to go investigate a ghost I ship. I'll hoist it up in a few minutes. Hey, how? Carefully. Good answer. And here we are. We took our little little dinghy to the Obra Dinn. See, the art style of the game is very kind of minimalist. Um, it's mostly just line drawings, but it gives a great atmosphere to it. All right, we've boarded the ship. Time to start investigating. Okay, you got your riggings, you got your masts. All right, this all looks pretty normal. Not a whole lot of damage to the ship up top. Okay. It's got the wheel. Whoa. Whoa now. That's a skeleton. Hmm. So he's got flies buzzing around him. Or her. Uh, inve investigate the pelvis, that'll tell me. That's a dude. Well, he's just a skeleton. He's got an axe next to him. I'm going to say it was birds. Yep. Giant seabirds came, got him, picked him clean. Whoop. It's too heavy. What's too heavy? I'm investigating. I'm going to say birds. Yep. Picked him clean and then flew the ship back to England. All right. Case closed. Head back to the office and write up that report. Let's just carefully make our way down. Don't want to fall. Whew. All right, safe and sound. Take it yourself or open it here. No, no, we need to leave. It was birds. Let's go. Come on. How is it too heavy? You rode us all the way here. This is just a briefcase. That's a book. 
Okay, yeah, it's a book. We don't need to examine it that much farther. Okay. Return of the Oberdin, a catalog of adventure and tragedy. 1807. Preface. I trust that you now find yourself aboard the Oberdin. I expected this day to come, and my every intention was to tell the ship's strange tale within the pages of this book. Regrettably, failing health has allowed me to produce only the basic outline that follows. Your presence on the Oberdin is critical. I leave the discovery of its fate and the completion of this book in your hands. The next few pages will seem bewildering at first. All will make sense in time. Use the pocket watch to determine the identity and fate of everyone aboard. Complete each chapter accurately and return the book by guaranteed post to the French Office of Affairs in Morocco. The bargain chapter will remain unknown to you. I possess the details within, but have elected to keep them private for now. Signed, Henry Evans. Why do I gotta give the book to the French office in Morocco? I thought I worked for the East India Company. Am I some kind of off-the-cuff freelance insurance investigator? Ooh, there's a lot in this book. The journey, the ship, the crew... Got a sketch, glossary, back cover, and then all the chapters. What's on the back cover? A skull. Uh, cool. And we have a pocket watch. Memento mortem. Remember death. Wait, this is what was too heavy for this guy? Is that briefcase made of lead? Is this pocket watch radioactive? Oh, we're gonna have to solve this mystery quick then. We got a radioactive pocket watch in our pocket. Alright. It seems we now have the tools to investigate properly. Let's begin. Our only clue right now is the guy that was killed by birds. Ooh. We're spiral wiping into another plane of existence. Who's there? Captain, open the door! Kick it in. Ah, let's we break it down and take more than those shells. You bastards may taste exactly what I give you. Oh shit! Okay, that was a little startling. Can I duck? Can I get out of the way? Am I in danger? What? Okay. No, oh, what? Open the book while examining a face to flip to the sketch. Okay, so we have a sketch. We have a sketch of everybody on board. Alright, that'll help us put faces to names. That's good. Okay, so this guy got the old flintlock pistol out. It's like muzzle flash shot. Shot this dude right in the chest. Oh, my bird theory just went out the window. That's great. Okay, don't know who he is. And his buddy's standing there looking at him. Okay. So, what do I do? Can I... Oh. Okay, the game is deciding for us that we no longer get to look at it. Hmm. To the book. Chapter 10. The End. Okay, so we're not going to see this in chronological order. Who is this? How did they die? Oh, I can click on these. Okay. This guy was shot. He was shot. 
uh, with a gun. Okay. I kind of want to look through that list again. So he's going to be alive, axed, burned, clawed, clubbed, decap. Wow, there's eaten. Eaten? What, froze? Struck? Hooves? Tail? Wing? What? Okay, there's a lot of ways people can die on this, it seems. Oh, I get another chance at the scene. Oh, I missed this guy. Who are you? What are you doing? I'm gonna take a better look at him. What are you doing up here, buddy? Huh? What you got going on? Oh, he's got a knife in his mouth. Hmm. Okay, then. Let's walk through this mysterious interdimensional doorway. We're just gonna boom tube our way out of there. Wait a second. This door wasn't open before. Oh, the ship is haunted. Oh, the ship is haunted. Ghosts are opening doors now. Okay, then. Ooh, looks like we got some more skeletons in here. That looks like a knife. And a spear. Alright, what happened to you, skeleton man? Must be in here someplace. <laughs> there I am. The bottom of the sea. That's a lie. You're in Davy Jones's locker. Ooh, sounds like a scuffle. No! Oh, this guy again. Oh, he knifed that dude right in the throat. Well, it looks like he got a good stab in on the shoulder, at least. Alright, what's going on in the surrounding area? Oh, there's the dead guy. Okay. What's going on over here? What? Oh, it's the dude from before with a knife in his mouth. Oh, he's planning a sneak attack. This guy kicks the door open, blasts one dude, and then knifes the other guy. There's that guy sneaking up behind him. Well, this guy was... He was knifed. I think I heard the interdimensional boom tube open up. Yep, still dead. Hmm. Alright, let's investigate the other skeleton that's in this room. Which poor soul could this be? Another scuffle. Oh! Wow. Oh, that was the dude with a knife. Oh, which is now firmly implanted in this man. This dude's a badass. Like, he's just kung fu fighting everybody. Okay, guy out there is still dead. This guy's dead. I mean, he took out three dudes. He went out his gun. It's in here. Ah, it's a sleeping person. Is this person dead? Or are they just sleeping through this? 
Uh, you'd have to be a really deep sleeper to probably sleep through that. Eh, I probably could. I'm a pretty deep sleeper. Nothing really rattles me. So when it's time to sleep, it is time to sleep. Alright. Inside the captain's quarters. Alright, well, this person was bludgeoned to death. Clawed. Okay, we got clubbed. Is there anything else? Maybe struck? Wait, I already looked at struck. Yeah, and he wasn't struck with anything. So he was clubbed. By this guy. Where are we at? Oh, we're in the captain's quarters. But is that guy the captain? That could be anybody. Looks like this ship, uh... Hit some rough stuff, so... Alright, well, we've got causes of death. Or, I'm sorry. We have the manners of death. Shot, stabbed, clubbed. Cause of death is mm, probably just, you know, exsanguination for all of them from blood loss. Okay, then. Are there any bodies out here? What is that? Something shining off in the distance. But oh, that could be treasure. Can I go tell the, the ferryman to take me to the treasure? Oh, this door is open now. It's all shimmery. Oh! The body's now a skeleton. And... Got another skeleton. With a gun. And his pelvis is detached. Seems like you've got a story to tell me, skeleton man. With a detached pelvis. Abigail. We have a name. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. My friend. I shot him. Dead. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That sounds ominous. Oh! Got himself right in the chest. Well, there's our kung fu fighter. Okay, so she must be dead. Already. Alright, everyone else out here is still dead. Okay, we've got the sequence of events. Now we just need to piece together what happened. Let's wait until the screen comes back. Okay, inside the captain's quarters. Okay, we know how this person died. They were shot. Oh, suicide's also an option. Uh, okay, and there are different options for... Suicide with a spear? What? What? How would you ki kill yourself with a spear? That, that just takes effort. But of course, this person, you know... Shot themselves with a flintlock pistol. So you really got to think it through before you do it. Okay, he shot himself. Okay, we have a name. We have the name Abigail. 
Let's see if we can tug on that thread and see how this all this all connects. Uh, so we have the crew, and we have a crew manifest. Let's look for Abigail. Abigail, right here. Abigail Hoskett Witterell, passenger from Scotland. Witterell, Witterell. Wait a minute. That's the captain's name. So he shot himself while... And he said he shot her brother. Um, Abigail Hoskett Witterell. Hoskett, Hoskett. That, there we go, Hoskett, right here, first mate. Oh, I think I've got it. I think I've got it. Okay. This guy right here. D darn it. Lost it. Okay. Oh, what? What's going on? This person's face is no longer blurred, which means they can be identified. Use the book and the watch, gather information... Revisit memories to study relationships, appearances, and activities. Uh, just to find a clues about names, relationships, appearances, and roles. Okay. 60 people on the ship when it left England. Yeah, it's not probably not going to be easy. Decisive information is rare. Going to have to assume some stuff. Use process of elimination. Good luck. Okay, this is William Hoskett. Okay. This guy is the captain. This may or may not be correct. Fates are validated in sets of three. Okay, so I have to get at least three to see if I'm right. And we're going to say he was shot by the captain. Okay. And where was Abigail? Abigail's right here. So this is Abigail. I'm th pretty sure. Okay. Can I identify either of the other two guys with that information? I don't think so. Alright. Oh, nope. I gotta go back through the boom tube before I can investigate Abigail. Yeah, that would make sense. The first mate and some buddies try and bust in on the captain. Captain kicks it open, shoots, shoots the first guy he sees, fights off the other two, kills himself. Looks like we can investigate Abigail now. And I'm guessing Abigail is already dead at this point? Is that her? Whoa! Giant octopus! Or, more than likely, giant squid. Oh, that dude's going up top to fight it. But he's about to get captured. Oh, these, these dudes are getting beasted by the squid, too. Ooh, someone got a sword stuck in it. Nice. Whoa, giant squid out of nowhere. 
Oh, this dude's just a body. He's just a torso. Oh, that was the guy with the knife in his mouth. Wow, okay. There's a lot of other people. I, I guess giant squid attack would bring you out of your room to see what the hell's going on. Chapter 7. The Doom. Okay, so we're three chapters before the end. So she was already dead. Yes, the corpse was moved post-mortem. No, we know how she died. I guess crushed? What was she crushed by? What was that? That was like a post. I'm guessing that's rigging? What's happening? Hey, alright. Three fates correct. Okay. We got three out of sixty. One. All right. All right. So we got three little lines. I guess it indicates the fates. Let's close up the book. Whoa. My pocket watch is going a little nuts. Or I'm having a little bit of an epileptic episode. Who are these people? Can I get a good look at this person? Huh, their faces aren't blurred anymore. It says I can identify them. How would I identify them, though? Wait a minute. Let's take a look at the sketch. Wait, these people appear. No, those aren't the same people. All right. Well, because this person right here is wearing the same thing. The ship is mostly men. And that could be a man or a woman. We don't know. But wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute. I gotta check the, the crew manifest. How many women were aboard? We have Abigail. Emily. Jane. Uh, just kind of scanning the names real quick here. There's only three women aboard this ship. Abigail, Emily, and Miss Jane Bird. So, these two women have to be those two. She looks younger. Alright, I'm gonna take a little leap here. Oh, what, what's going on now? This is a deduction rating. Higher rating's more difficult. Uh, I think this is Miss Jane Bird. Okay. And you are Emily Jackson. And then, where's where's Abigail? She screamed out for for someone. Uh, this was the doom. Who did she scream out for? She screamed out for Martin. 
He's below deck. Come here. So one of these people is Martin. Hmm. That could be Martin. She's yelling over it. Ah, uh, but if you're yelling in a storm, you're gonna yell at the closest person to you, right? I think this is Martin. Oh, oh, I clicked the wrong button. Uh, I meant to hit tab, not mouse one. Okay. Everything is kind of gone wavy and, and dark. Um, what am I doing? Oh, you're illuminated. Just the torso man. Let's see what torso man saw in his final moments. Probably nothing good. If I had to guess. Oh, I'm back here. My pocket watch is glowing. But okay, mysterious smoke trail. Oh. Okay, so I steal people's souls out of the memory, trap them, come back to the present, and then they appear on the ship. Yeah, yeah, nothing odd about this insurance investigation. Okay, before I forget, I gotta find that Martin guy. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the Doom. Do 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 do. Flipping through the book. It was. It was this guy. There's a Martin Pedro. Parrot. Third mate. Are there any other Martins? It does not appear so. So I think that's Martin. Gotta bring up the book one more time. Just gotta want to take a look at the sketch again. Yeah, I think these guys with the fancy hats are like in charge. With the old school, like, you know, folded hats. All right. So what have we learned so far? We learned that the Oberdin disappeared. It has now come back. Everyone on the ship is dead. And we have to use a magical pocket watch to travel through time. Uh, are we traveling through time or move? Maybe we're more traveling through dimensions or into, you know, another subconsciousness of someone. It's, it's magic. We're using magic to figure this out. And we're going to see what happened to the man who's just a torso next time.